welcome and or welcome back to Luna My Name, Luna the Moon, Luna Luna's Tarot Channel. And this time we are reading for KK. And it's also a general reading. I've been getting a lot of general readings lately. This is quite challenging. <laughs> um, and yeah. Uh, before getting into the reading once again, I will disclaim that I am not a professional reader. I do this as a hobby, so please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I am trying my best. Uh, I am trying my best, so please be nice. Um, to me, tarot card, like spiritual things aside, it is an opportunity for you to, um like connect to your subconscious and inner self so during the reading whatever feelings and our thoughts arises please do embrace them acknowledge them and try to understand them because they are there for a reason and what else yeah after the reading please do make sure to tell me your thoughts on the reading and uh do consider to comment like and or subscribe and share my channel with your friends because that helps a lot and that's about it. Let's get right into the reading. So, your tarot card is... Hmm, okay, cool. So your tarot card is the Justice card. The Justice card is a major arcana card. So it means some significant life events or chain... Uh, like, uh, events or lessons. Uh, not necessarily changes. But yeah, events in our lessons. And it's like justice. I'm not sure if there's like another I feel like there's also another card called judgment. I don't I'm not so sure. Whether or not that I just feel like in terms of justice, I feel, think of judgment because like, you know, court and like just seeing what's right or wrong, um, moral compasses, those kind of things. So I feel like um some really big decisions will come to place either now or soon enough um and also if we look into this card um there's someone who has power because look at this um this sword a sword is a very threatening thing but uh it's a weapon but this person is not using it they're just holding it so it feels like they have power but they're not using it as of right now they it feels like they're currently being blinded they can't see the situation that clearly as of right now because as you can see it's like they're blindfolded blindfolded so it feels like um this situation um okay so sorry it's like a lot of things I, i'm like it's okay i feel like it's certainly very overwhelming because usually what i say is kind of co coherent but then now i'm just like seeing all these different things such as like the sword the blindfold and then there's the sun looking thing so that means like some sort of guardians or like just like higher power is looking over the situation um and yeah it just feels like to sum it up there's a situation that either right now or coming soon that's that will need a very big decision to me to be made the decision will possibly be quite um life-changing and maybe you need to cut out some people in your life i'm not so sure why i thought of that maybe it's because of the sword but it came up um and then there's this yeah you have this power within you that you're not using at like as of right now because you are uncertain of the situation yet but you can feel it it feels like um but certainly like um you cannot see it because the blindfold and then you are not doing much about it yet even though you have the power to and also it feels like this situation will 
really work require a lot of inner work um a lot of your emotional abilities like your emotional like you really you really need to be emotionally strong for this and i feel like as of right now you are strong enough because um this is a feminine power usually that relates to like uh inner self inner work and those kind of things and then this person as i said ho holds all these powers and then like they have a crown on their head um she is like Their posture is really straight and confident. So you are certainly emotionally well enough to deal with the situation. And the situation will require a lot of these um, abilities and capabilities. Not so sure if this makes sense, but let me try to make sense of this. So there will be a big judgment thing that you need to do to decide maybe some whether something is right or wrong and you are a very deciding factor on this thing um it really requires your emotional capabilities but as of right now either you can't see the situation yet or you are kind of manipulated in this situation because that's also what I can think of in terms of blindfold. And that's just what I'm getting through the visual element. But let's take a look at the definitory meaning of this card. So this card is the Justice card. One of the first troubling lessons the young fool learns is that life isn't always fair. Or more precisely, he learns that justice is more complex than he thought. Justice, as meted out by any human agency, is imperfect. Karmic or universal justice also plays a role in life and is harder to detect. detect. The fool's experiences teach him that while secular justice, or more likely, um, those who serve her, may be capricious, a higher level of justice op operates in the world. This version of justice means that the fool's own actions carry consequences and help create his future. He realizes that he must mind not only when he does, but also why he does it. Intent matters. Divinatory meaning is that people are getting what they deserved. Although the situation may not be based on ideal justice, there is some sort of internal justice system at play. Those who behaved admirably will probably be pleased with their results. Those who haven't lived up to their own standards, values, and professed beliefs may not be so pleased. The advice is that if you behave well according to your own reckoning, stick to your guns and trust that justice will be served. If you haven't, don't try to argue. Accept your lot with as much grace as possible and resolve to make better choices next time. So it does feel like, um, so this is, of course, um, this is the definition about you, but then at the same time, um, uh, I would say that this is more about, because as I said, you need to make a judgment. So it's probably there's something that you need to decide according to your own moral compass or like whatever, maybe something about cut it. Like, yeah, that makes me, that reaffirms my, what I said earlier about cutting people off possibly cutting off like friends or like um like choices in terms of uh yeah i'm not so sure what other like what i'm thinking is just like friends or something like that but basically you might possibly need to cut out people or some sort of choices and you need to choose that based on your own moral compass if that makes sense at all I hope that it does because it's your own situation so usually it's easier to um make sense of it for you because you're in the situation i'm sorry i'm like i'm really confused so i'm i feel like i'm repeating things a lot i really hope that's making sense because sometimes when it doesn't make sense for me it also makes sense for the client because 
it's their situation, you know? So they personalize it. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, please tell me your thoughts on it. But anyways, your advice from the moon is to work through your fears. So I feel like, okay, I said that you have enough, um, like, internal strength here. But then I, I think it's also possible for you to doubt your own capabilities or whether or not you have the right to make those decisions or those kind of things. But I just want to tell you that you are more than enough. You're good enough, you're more than enough, and things like that. Don't doubt yourself and work through your fears. And let's take a look at what this moon is about. So this is new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth, death, rebirth, perigeum. Per per yeah, perigeum. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, uh, whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It's it's almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you're magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy, oh, all right, wait, and it, emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is a sign that likes to go in deep into the body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. A to the moon is have a, uh, have some sexy time. Additional meaning for this card is that it's time to let go of a grudge that you're holding, move on from jealousy, stop being obsessive, could it be that you're being paranoid, and make an investment. The teaching of this card is that Scorpio is the time of death and rebirth, magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, even scary. Not all of us like to face, face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's working through your dark side that you can get to the light. Oh wait, no. In fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearances of this card at any other time suggest you need to do that now. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much today. Although this is not the worst. But I do feel like it is something with feeling overwhelmed in this situation. Because usually my state is... Like, I won't say closely linked, but it's linked to the situation at hand. So, honestly, even as I was shuffling the cards, it was, like, a little, like, going fast and then slowing back. Like, um, and then it feels like I needed to do that. But it was still kind of, like, it did, nothing fell down. It was just the pacing that was a little erratic. So I don't feel like that's kind of you, like you're ca calm and collected, but at the same time, there are times where you're just like panicky or like, um, what's that? Like, um, just overwhelmed or like having your mind everywhere. But that's just the vibe that I'm getting. I'm not so sure if that really applies to you. So please, please do tell me your thoughts on a reading. About whether or not things resonate. Whether or not things make sense. Because I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, please do consider to comment, like, and or subscribe. And also to people that watch this feed video. And is not the person that requested this video. Please do consider to... Um, Requests a personal reading because I do that for free. Um, my contact information is listed in the description box below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And bye-bye.